Hey guys, I just wanted to give you a brief introduction before I actually start the gameplay. So I am pretty much going to be doing a little breakdown of somebody's gameplay of a person who I found in the lobby, and I'm occasionally going to show my perspective, but that's pretty much what this is going to be. And you'll see the kind of slant that I give him just by me talking. So let's get on with the gameplay. So at the start, I'm just going to show you his perks. They're pretty selfish killstreak related perks. Hardline Pro, trying to get your own killstreak. Sleight of Hand, trying to make sure that you stay alive. And Second Chance, which is obviously just to continue your killstreak. So now, uh, let's actually jump into the gameplay. He's got the Golden AK-47, he's a 15th Prestige. And he goes for the Selfish Cap of A. He doesn't want to leave himself open to being murdered by B, and yet he, kills, he gets killed by a spawn grenade anyway. But he really doesn't want to leave himself open to B, and I think that pretty much shows the play style for the rest of the game. I'm not going to really hate on this guy too much because, to be honest, he's probably a better player than I am. He has a really good shot. Multiple times I see him kill multiple people with uh, one clip and he still is able to... He's, he still has like 15 bullets left in his clip, so I'm really not going to hate on this guy too much. But I'm just going to show you how he was able to get a 72-13 and 13 game. So basically... So far, he starts off the game not doing all that well. He dies a couple of times, get a couple, gets a couple of second chance kills. He actually never gets revived in this game from second chance, bro. But one thing I'm going to really talk about is his choice of secondary. Later on in the game, you'll see that it's a crossbow. And right now, he really, really could have used a pistol with extended mags. If he didn't have to reload, then he probably would have gotten that kill. And maybe one of his teammates who's right here would have been able to pick him up. And he was on a three kill streak, I believe, so far. And that would have been able to pick him up his care package which is his first kill streak. His next two are the chopper gunner and the gunship. So I mean I, I'm gonna show I, obviously you guys are gonna see that it is gonna play a huge part in how he managed to get such a high score. But if I don't know if you guys have noticed but so far my team which is the other team is dominating and we're doing really really well. We're, ma we're managing to keep all of the flags and I'm thinking this is a perfect game. By the way this spawn was bullshit. Um, he literally spawned and then that guy was right behind him. Um, there, I mean, there's not much you can do. Those kind of situations happen every once in a while, but you, you still have to feel bad for the guy, even if he's <laughs> running second chance, bro. But, uh, this is a situation where he gets killed and then he sprints after somebody. And then that's why he was killed the second time. Here's the perspective of the guy who killed him. He had the nice double spray. And then he's able to reload. And notice that he's walking and the other guy sprints towards him. And that's why he's able to get the kill. So now we're going to go into a little section that I'm going to call highlights of the day. Which is literally just any random clip that, um, that I had that I played yesterday. I played about... I don't know, 10 games of Call of Duty, and these, I have two clips today, and these are my two best clips of the day. Uh, don't hate on me too much, I haven't played Call of Duty much in the past two weeks, if at all, and um, I'm really not used to it. So these are actually the best clips that I got, so you can see how bad or good of a player I actually am. It's just a little, nice little three knife streak, I was pretty happy with it. I think I finished that game 7-21, and 21, which may or may not be the worst Call of Duty game I have played in the past mm, six months. I don't know, I, I, I'd say that would be fair. But let's kind of get back into the gameplay. So his team only has eight points, and they are pretty much, I think this is the point where they start to turn it around, uh, mainly because of this guy. He is able to pick up three people really quickly right off spawn, and that is the best way to really get a kill streak going. You get three, e uh, not easy kills, but three kills right away, and then you notice that you're already halfway to your chopper gunner. So he's now he's now at a five kill streak. He's got his care package, but he's gonna wait to call that in. And if you'll notice, he was able to see somebody on the right, and then you just like, well, why didn't that guy kill him? And then this is actually me, and this is my perspective. I tried to do a drop shot, and then I did the little fancy jump, and uh, it pretty much just failed. So and there there you see from my perspective, I don't think I did a terrible move. I was expecting he, I wasn't expecting him to retreat. So uh, even though it looked like a really really dumb move on his part by not trying to shoot the guy who saw him first and instead just looking away and aiming at someone else it ended up working out for him because I hesitated just enough to give him the perfect opportunity to get a kill so then he retreats back into the trailer and if you notice he got his entire streak uh, uh, just by hanging around this one little bit near the trailer and he basically took advantage of our spawn and the fact that I kept rushing towards him so you see him here I just after I spawn I just sprint towards him and that's why I died but anyway 
Uh, now it's really going to be time for his his team to turn around. So as you can see, he dies, and uh, then he goes back here, which I was a little surprised about. I thought he would call in his uh, gunship and chopper gun right away. But he does a, a really bad play, which he basically he sees three people on the UAV right there, and then he still approaches. Even after he gets shot, he's still approaching. What he should have done, which probably would have been better, probably would have saved the flag and stuff, would it be if he waited for them to come to him. Obviously, that's camping, but that would definitely have been the smart move. So I did not fast forward the gunship. You don't have to click away from the video. I'm going to fast forward all the next three. But I really wanted to show you how much these gunships help him and his team. So at this point, my team is up big. We were dominating for a while, and now we have two out of the three flags, and we're in a pretty good spawn trap. But at this point, look at all the red dots. None of them are anywhere near the flags. And uh, look at that little red diamond right there. That was me, and I was standing literally right next to the dude. I spawned right near him, and I didn't even see him. I got my law shot off, and then I was just shooting with my Galil. All I, could, all I had to do was stab him, and I would have gotten a free kill, but... Uh, it didn't it didn't actually matter but anyway what I was trying to say is that none of the red diamonds are near any of the flags which allows his team to easily dominate and then he is pretty easily able to keep the flags with his uh, gunship and then again in a couple of seconds with his chopper gunner I don't uh, none of my, nobody on my team was actually trying to shoot him down I know that one of my rockets hit like something and that's why it didn't blow the ship up it, it hit something and i had to wait for myself to die again before i replenish that but as you can see his team is still down 49 to 110 so he's going to need a pretty colossal comeback but anyway i'm just going to fast forward this chopper gunner because it's more of the same exact thing it's just him shooting some red dots and avoiding it so that either all my teammates were focused on shooting it down which was me or focused on hiding and surviving and none of us could really play the objective so even with those two I don't know I'd say 90 seconds of us just chilling in the back and not doing anything objective wise we're still winning um, so there he makes a misplay I don't know what he was thinking but he saw that ghost guy and then he still wa walked in but now he makes a really nice play he thought about just running back in the same way and going for the revenge kill but instead uh, plays it smart and flanks I know that he was doing this intelligently because he kills this guy and then he aims that way which is where he had just died so I'm pretty sure that it was actually just a really smart move and that's why he was successful in that situation but anyway he does he doesn't go for the flag actually no this isn't the point but there's one point later on in the game I don't know if I'll remember to mention it but where a couple of his teammates jump on the C flag and he's like nope <laughs> and he doesn't he doesn't bother to go for it I'm gonna spoil it go ahead and spoil it and he finishes with one cap and that was the cap of the A flag at the beginning of the game there was actually really fortunate that he didn't help his teammates because then I probably would have gotten that triple spray and been able to save the uh, C flag but uh, in the end his teammates capped it and now my team is dominated again and his team is pretty much about to take the lead I don't really know what happened there so it was a little bit of a mess up with the recording I apologize for that but this is pretty much where the, the point where his team takes over takes the lead and uh, we really my team really has nothing to do oh my god this was a killer um, this guy I don't know what he's doing he's running around with an empty clip he runs through the B flag and he just runs right in front of this guy and gives him the gunship. If he had been at all aware, he probably wouldn't have been able to get that kill. Um, but he wasn't. And then I just show you uh, another another one of my perspectives, which is me being a champ, taking it, taking out these guys and trying to cap the C flag. I don't even realize that I'm off the flag at this point. And then this guy just comes around the corner hip firing, and uh, he takes me out pretty quickly. But uh, anyway, let's move on. He is now... Um, He's got his gunship, and he's out of ammo, so rather than continue the fight because all he's got is a crossbow, he's just going to call in his shit, and right before he does that, we're going to jump into the next highlight of the day, and this one is just me playing with the Mac 11. I've kind of stopped playing with the FAMAS and the AK-74U. It's not that it's too easy, it's just that I feel like it's cheap. I know that it's a bad mentality and that it's really stupid. You should never think something is cheap in a video game, but... Uh, I always feel bad when I play with them, and I don't know, I thought this was nice. I won two gunfights with uh, the Mac 11, where uh, they were basically even gunfights, and I won two right one after another, so that's why I thought it was a decent clip. Obviously, it's no montage-worthy clip or anything, but I feel like it's a nice break from seeing somebody dominate with a chopper gunner for half a match. No? I don't know. Leave your thoughts on that in the comment section, please. I would really appreciate it. Thanks. Um, anyway, 
He, he's just mowing some people down. These chopper gunners and gunships were nowhere near successful. But that's pretty much going to take us to the end of the game. So I don't know if you remember, but bef once he called in his chopper gunner or gunship, I don't remember. I don't even remember which one. I think the score was 48 to 111, and my team ended up with about 138. So his air support really saved the day. Here makes another nice play to end the game. He sees his teammate going one way, and he sees these red dots here, and he flanks around this guy and gets him for the final kill of the game. So I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of breaking down of the game kind of style and if you did please uh, let me know so i hope you enjoyed have a nice day bye